Good morning and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this presentation on our Biz Kids video series. Now, um, if this is a point in the class where we've already presented some information on biz kids you're already familiar with who they are and what they do if this is your first time watching this in the class or in the classroom environment right then you need some explanation here right so biz kids is something that is ran by another organization and the idea is to inspire young people to start their own business and make their own money in other words you don't have to work for somebody else to make money. You can be your own boss. And there are very, very different advantages to do that. But along with those advantages, there are some responsibilities as well. Okay. So we're going to look at a crash course on starting a business. And you got to have a plan. Okay. That's the name of the, this, this presentation. Here. You got to have a plan and crash course on starting a business, right? Which comes from the different episodes from biz kids. All right. This is for my Lake city middle school students. But if you're on the internet and you stumbled across this for one reason or another, then we understand the context here, right? This is for my introduction to business management administration students and business leadership, the seventh grade and eighth graders. All right. So what are we going to look at first here? Well, First things first are big ideas. What does it take for you to become an entrepreneur? Hmm, what is an entrepreneur and what are they responsible for? That might be a question for Mr. Google, right? Well, if you're in my class, if we don't already know what it is, we've looked it up, right? Or we will, like right now. All right, awkward pause done. Next, what is a basic business plan and how is a business plan helpful when starting a business? We're going to talk about that, right? Like right now. Awkward pause done. All right, so how does somebody start their own business? We're going to look at those concepts here in the videos. All right, so for my seventh graders, here are some things we need to think about when watching these videos. What are some terms or vocabulary words and concepts a young entrepreneur should be aware of? What are some common characteristics young entrepreneurs and business owners have? What are some responsibilities of young entrepreneurs and young business owners? All right. For my eighth graders, you're going to think about trends and issues a young business person or young entrepreneur uh, should be aware of in regards to business opportunities. You're going to think, how might a young entrepreneur structure their business and how involved is it, right? What skills and what aptitudes uh, do you possess that would help start a business and can you improve upon those skills? And can you constantly learn new things? And what can you do to overcome monetary and financial problems in regard to running and operating a business? All right, so let's dive straight in here. The first thing we're gonna watch is a video or a skit on, well, the Business Genie. Now, the Business Genie is not a product or a service, it is a skit. And the idea here is, well, you're gonna see in a few moments. Hmm, all right, so, a couple things I want you to consider when watching this video. One, how important is hard work and strong work ethic in regards to starting and running a business? Um, Mr. C, what's work ethic? Well, that sounds like a great opportunity to look it up. All right, awkward pause coming in. Three, two, one. All right, end of our awkward pause. Now, Thinking about successful entrepreneurs like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and Elon Musk, or Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Microsoft, right? Ooh, that's big. Steve Jobs, Apple, oh, that's big. Elon Musk, Tesla, and um, the, the what's the Starship thing he runs, right? Exactly, okay. And then Jeff Bezos from Amazon, oh yeah, right? Those are some big entrepreneurs, right? Did they just kick back and make all their money from the get-go, or were they actively involved in their ventures? What did it take to get them started, all right? So we're going to start with the business genie, and I want you to consider those things. And I'll catch you on the flip side of this episode. I can't believe I found this really old lamp in my grandma's attic. Whoever rubbed my lamp is granted one wish. Okay, wow, I've always wanted like laser eyes, but I've also really wanted to fly, and I don't know which is gonna be cooler, so I'm gonna go with money. Are you sure? Yep, for my wish, I wish to be rich. 
Alakazam. What, what? What's this? Is this the information for my Swiss bank account? No. That is a successful business plan. What? All you have to do is apply hard work to your plan, and you will retire rich someday. Okay, well, if I wanted to work hard, I'd be rich already. <laughs> Not so fast. Not everybody who works hard ends up rich. Do you want to know the difference? Is it because they had a crappier genie than I do? No. They didn't want to do the work. They just wanted to get rich with no plan, no nothing. They just wanted to sit on their fat bum, working hard at playing video games, all whining. Make me rich, genie. Make me rich. Well, I tell you, there's no free lunch. You want to make money? You gotta have a plan. Okay, well, I guess I get that now, but whatever happened to three wishes? Budget cuts.